Hey everyone, grab your tea and relax. Today has been a pivotal moment in my life because I've just started my second placement of foundation year training. Ah! If you guys have been following my vlogs, you'll know that I've just finished my geriatrics placement, which worked out to be pretty decent. I learned so much about medicine, how to do jobs as a practicing doctor, and especially with the on calls on MRU as well as take, I feel that I have developed experience as well as skills that will be crucial to the rest of the year. I'm really excited about rotating into surgery because I know it's going to be quite a different experience to the last four months. And at this stage, it's really important that I'm getting the experience and the exposure to the different fields so I can make my mind up as to which specialty I'd like to choose later down the line. Today was my induction for surgery, but also we pretty much started the job as soon as we got there. I was hoping for more of a relaxed approach into starting this new job. However, sometimes it's just better being thrown into the deep end. Having said that, fortunately, we haven't had too many patients to see today. And we've been sort of chilling out for the last few moments on the ward. And there's literally no jobs for me to do. So I thought I'd pop out and just have a small 10 minute break or so just get some fresh air because I've been inside the whole day and have not seen daylight today. I thought at some point when I'm a bit more experienced I could talk to you guys a little bit more about what actually happens in general surgery, how things are structured, what sort of jobs we do, what sort of patients are coming through. Obviously no specific patients that I'll tell you guys about because confidentiality but I'm hoping that I can teach you guys a little bit about different conditions that often present in general surgery. If that sort of thing interests you then I hope you'll hit the subscribe button below and why not turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss a thing. In terms of the structure of today we went in at 8am where we met our team the registrar as well as some of the other juniors and then we saw a few patients after which we joined our consultant to see other patients. What I really enjoyed at Ward Round this morning is that some of the conditions I'd read about from textbooks at medical school were just there in front of me and it was nice to put into context things that I had learnt before. There was a small illustration I made during my revision time and I just quickly got it up when I heard about the condition just to jog my memory as to what sort of things patients present with and it was just really interesting reading the patient's history and finding that oh my god patients really do present with these things and to kind of see a textbook example that was pretty fascinating for me at some point maybe I can do a mini tutorial for you guys on this condition if you're interested in that sort of thing then leave a comment below so I know how many of you guys are roughly interested in that sort of thing Ward round today was interrupted by the fact that we had induction from 12 till 2.30. With some of the F1s on my team, we went and got lunch, some coffee, and we sat around, obviously socially distancing, only six people in the seminar room at any given time, yeah. and we watched the induction on a large monitor. And that's pretty much the way that most teaching and lectures are being delivered these days because of the whole social distancing and COVID pandemic. After that we went back to the ward to do some jobs. I went to see a patient with one of the registrars. I had to chase a CT scan. Yes write a discharge summary. I actually really enjoyed writing the discharge summary because for this particular patient the discharge summary wasn't actually started which meant that I had to go through all the notes and read about why the patient came in, what they presented with, what we did for them, investigations, what treatment we gave them, how they're responding, how they're doing and what sort of medications they're currently on but also going to go home with. I thought that was a really nice way of settling in and sort of seeing my first surgical patient as a doctor. The F1s then sat with the registrar and we spoke about blood results, what blood results can indicate. It became like a small tutorial and that was pretty useful. And yeah, this sort of concludes my 10 minute break. I'm going to pop back in now and hopefully there's some jobs for me to do because I like doing things when I'm at work. I feel really awkward when there's no jobs to do and I'm just sitting around, which doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, I I don't know, I find it a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I was hoping to vlog this whole day, but I just kind of didn't get to. My train came pretty much straight away when I got to the station, so I didn't get to do the whole Tavala tunnel talks. It should be a thing with you guys. I hope you don't mind it. Those will be back soon, inshallah. Hopefully this video gives you guys 
a little update about how my life is going, what I'm doing next and soon there shall be some more conversations and talks about what I'm actually doing in surgery, what it's like, what my thoughts and feelings are and yeah hopefully you'll learn more of a lesson or two. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves and are staying safe. I will see you soon! Mwah.